Hello, Scorpio Sun, Leo Moons. Welcome to your 2024 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorder or a live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646 902 5715. When you see this, is when you're meant to view it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also, check out your 2023 Sun Moon readings and see if they rang true for you or somebody else. The first portion of this reading, I will go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination, pull the main cards, and take a quick look at your 2024. The second portion, Portion is in the Vimeo link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of those cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2024. So Scorpio, Sun, Leo, Moons, always seeming to land into a position of command. You also can be intimidating, but get the respect you deserve and desire. You're a tenacious individual who finishes whatever you just set out to do and will put all the investigation and research in along the way. Also supremely ethical, you would never take advantage of a situation or be immoral. Romantic and mysterious, you can often get caught up with loving to be in love. Idealizing love can often land you in disappointment. Keep your expectations of re relationships a tad lower to make goals attainable. Love can be a fairy tale, but it is also work once the flames die down. You can be a force of nature because of your, emo your emotions are difficult to harness. Your feelings tend to guide your decisions, and this can be your Achilles heel. Stubbornness can come into play also to make a bad situation even worse. Try to approach high-stress situations in a more controlled way. Aside from your moodiness, you can be quite the optimistic and charming individual. With strength, passion, and appealing personality, many successes can await you. So, Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guys, Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Scorpio Sun, Leo Moons. For the year 2024, what do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine? Cherry card in the upright for January, February, March, and that is the card of Cancer. Finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. April, May, June, we have the Ten of Swords in the upright. What do you see for July, August, September for Scorpio, Sun, Leo, Moons? We have the Three of Swords in the reverse. And what do you see for October, November, December? We have the Fool card in the upright. Okay, so definitely some ups and downs. I'm not going to lie. Um... So the chariot card in the upright, you start, first of all, some of you will be buying a new car. I'm just going to get that out of the way right now. I don't know if you've been saving up in 2023, but yes, the chariot card indicates a new vehicle of some sort, uh, typically a car. So, and I think, I think that's a good time to buy cars too, isn't it? Why aren't the, some of the car dealers, dealers have to uh, chime in on that, but I thought it was, I thought it was January because they're always trying to get me to renew my lease right around then. So yeah, I'd like to know that if anyone wants to throw it out there. Um, anyway, so, but other than that, you're totally in your, um, in your realm because you're being very focused, very determined. It seems as though you have your eye on some prize and you're saying to yourself, I'm going to do this no matter what. And absolutely nothing is going to stay in my way. You're very concentrated on achieving whatever it is. And I believe it's something that's self-interest. So it's something that is all about you. And there is nothing wrong with that. Sometimes people confuse self-interest with selfishness. I think they're Two, and they are. They're two entirely separate things. One's negative and one's positive. So I really feel there's something you want to prove. Um, you aren't going to compromise and you're going to make it happen in um, January, February, March. Now, unfortunately, in April, May, June, I'm seeing something kind of happen here. It could be related to this. Um, I'm feeling it may not be because I almost feel like whatever this is, you may actually achieve. I'm almost feeling like <clears throat> this could be a separate instance, instance entirely. So this is an ending of a cycle and it may come up, come up upon you and you are not expecting it in the least. Um, all of a sudden, uh, it could happen. Uh, typically, it's a very unpleasant ending. It can be something where you feel powerless, you feel helpless, um, you're kind of at rock bottom. It, it, I'm not going to lie, it tends to be a dark point, okay? So look out for that right around this period of time. But I wouldn't worry so much because in July, August, and September, you'll start moving out of that. Um with the three of swords in reverse, you're going to recover from what you went through. You are going to uh, realize, okay, that happened. You're going to accept that happened, but you're going to put one foot in front of the other and um, heal from it. Um, for some of you, you could actually find something out and need surgery. Um, and this is actually recovering from said surgery and physically healing. Okay. So just kind of keep that in, my, uh, in mind in the middle of the year. 
And then the glorious thing happens October, November, December. Here you are starting out on a new journey. It may be because of what you went through here. Always keep in mind that when adversity presents itself, it's not always a bad thing. I mean, it's a bad thing when we're in it, but it, it makes us, it points us in a different direction or it makes us the person we are, which is a better person. It causes us to improve. So I see you starting out on a new journey. Whatever this was, I feel like allows for that. So here you are having a new beginning. You aren't letting fear hold, hold you back you could be stepping into a new position into a new job into a new career into a new relationship or just traveling just walking your own path in life if this is a card of exploration seeing what's out there and not kind of letting fear hinder you so not the worst reading in the world uh if it does resonate consider a personal pre-recorded or a live reading just click on the link tree below or text me at 646-902-5715 also, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below. I'll be pulling these cards on those cards for a deeper interpretation. In addition to a card of advice for 2024, check out your 2023 Sun Moon readings that are still in my playlist. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate, or refer a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Scorpio Sun, Leo Moons, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.